it's not a simple task to pay off debt. Having a large amount of debt may negatively affect one's finances in many ways. You may find it challenging to meet your financial obligations, and getting future large loans such as mortgages and automobile loans may be more difficult. Fortunately, there are several non-depressing options for paying off debt. You may consolidate your debt with a loan or a balance transfer credit card, or you can make adjustments to your monthly budget so that you can afford to pay more than the minimum amount due on your obligations. The debt snowball approach and the use of unexpected financial windfalls are two other effective tactics. You may also try to negotiate a debt settlement if none of the other options work. The best plan for you will vary depending on your specific circumstances and objectives. If you're ready to get out of debt, here are the nine easiest ways to get out of debt faster. Understand your debt. It is essential to take note of your debts in order to receive an accurate picture of your financial situation. First, examine your credit card statements, bank statements, and other invoices to understand your monthly debt obligations and interest costs. Keep track of the payment details. List the interest rate, minimum monthly payment, and due date next to each debt. Find the absolute minimum amount you must make each month to remain current on your bills by adding the minimum payments for all your debts. Pay more than the minimum payment. Examine your spending habits to see how much more you can spend toward your debt. Paying more than the minimum can save you money on interest and allow you to get out of debt quickly. Suppose you have a credit card balance of $15,000 with an APR of 17% and a minimal payment of $450. If you make only the minimum payment, it will take you nearly four years to repay the balance. You will pay roughly $5,500 in total interest. If you paid $550 per month, $100 more than the minimum, you could redeem the debt in less than three years and pay a total of $4,100 in interest. When you pay more than the minimum, your credit card principal amount decreases faster. Start by putting the extra payment on the bill for the current billing period before it's due. It can also be added to the base amount that's due every month. Use the debt snowball strategy. In addition to making the minimum monthly payment, the debt snowball strategy may help you get out of debt faster. Pay the minimum on all of your debts except for the smallest one, on which you'll make the maximum payment possible. Snowballing payments mean paying off the smallest debt first, then moving on to the next lowest loan, and so on, while keeping up with the minimum payments on the remainder of your debts. Suppose you owe $8,000 in school loans, $800 on auto loans, and $3,000 on credit cards. If you're using the debt snowball strategy, your first priority should be eliminating the loan with the smallest sum, such as an auto loan. The debt snowball approach might encourage you to concentrate on one debt at a time, rather than many, which will help you gain momentum and maintain your course. If you have a payday or title loan, you should only rule out the debt snowball strategy as a possible solution. These loans should be repaid as quickly as possible since they often have substantially higher average interest rates, ranging from 300 to 400% APR. When using the debt snowball strategy, you'll soon notice the results, encouraging you to keep going. To begin, you might make a list of all of your outstanding debts and sort them from least to most significant. In addition to making the minimum payments on all your debts, you should put any extra money toward paying off the loan with the smallest sum first. Proceed to the next debt in the list that is the least and repeat. Put windfalls toward debt. Instead of putting money from a stimulus check or tax return into savings or spoiling yourself, consider applying it to your loan balance. You can invest the entire windfall or divide it in half between paying off debt and treating yourself to a fancy meal or a trip. Debts may also be reduced by using inheritances, bonuses, or gifts of cash received. Remember that even a little contribution may make a big difference on the road to debt freedom. The reason this strategy is effective is because using windfalls to make more progress in debt repayment creates a snowball effect. Make a plan for the money, and then immediately start paying off your debt to prevent the temptation to spend it all. Refinance debt. Refinancing your debt to get a lower interest rate can save you a lot of money and help you pay off debt faster. Mortgages, car, personal and school loans can all be refinanced. One way to do this is with a debt consolidation loan, which is a personal loan that may have a lower interest rate than your other bills. If you have credit card debt, you could also move the debt to a balance transfer card. The APR on these cards is 0% for some time, usually between 6 and 18 months. This is effective because refinancing may provide you with a reduced interest rate, a more stable monthly payment, and a shorter loan term. 
all of which can hasten your progress toward your goal. Find out more about your debt consolidation alternatives. If you want the lowest interest rate possible on a consolidation loan, be pre-approved for one first. If a debt transfer credit card is your preferred option, you should know that the whole amount must be paid off before the promotion period expires. Re-examine your budget. The quickest strategy to reduce debt is to either increase your income or decrease your expenses. You may not be able to start a side business or part-time work, but you may adjust your budget. Identify the most crucial aspects of your budget and place them in order of priority. Sort your line items by whether they are needs or wants, then flag the ones you can do without. If you adjust your spending habits and save the additional cash each month, you may put more toward paying off your debt. You may accelerate the process of paying off debt by making some temporary sacrifices with your money. To get started, take a look at your budget and see where you can make changes. Add this amount to a special debt payoff fund in your budget and use it to pay off your debt faster. Be diligent moving forward. The process of paying off debt may be challenging sometimes. Reward yourself as you make progress in your debt repayment and remember how far you've come. Take the initiative to resolve not to incur any unnecessary additional debt. Avoid getting into deeper financial trouble by attempting to consolidate credit card debt with a personal loan or a balance transfer credit card. Avoid debt consolidation if you are unsure of your ability to refrain from using the cards you just paid off. Sell the stuff you don't need. How long has it been since you put on that clothing or used that tennis racket? Examine your possessions to determine if there is anything you might sell. Of course, eBay is available for you to utilize, but so are many other resources. Declutter will buy back your old DVDs and Blu-rays in addition to your old devices. A service like ThreadUp might be helpful if you have a closet full of stuff you never wear. Additionally, a yard sale is always an option. Settle for less than you owe. You may also talk to your creditors and try to negotiate a settlement for a fraction of what you owe. Debt settlement is something you can do on your own, but there are also plenty of firms out there that will do it for you for a price. Although paying less than you owe and escaping old debts may appear wise, the Federal Trade Commission warns that there are risks involved. For instance, some debt settlement businesses require you to cease making debt payments while you negotiate better terms, which might harm your credit score. This strategy is effective because it allows you to pay off your debts in part and be free of further debt payments. First, try negotiating a settlement with your creditors over the phone. If they accept, get the agreements put in writing. Another option is to employ a debt settlement firm to handle the negotiations on your behalf. If you like this video, consider giving us a like and subscribe for more content.